Ash Media's coverage of Snap-on Kalgoorlie's Australian Street Stock Championship is proudly brought to you by Speedway Sedans Australia. Yellow lights flashing, we're going to go green this time around. People are listening, uh, sending in messages left, right and centre. Matt Templer's younger sister very happy with the result of Heat 1 coming from position 9. And just uh, quickly, hi, listening in from Melbourne, Victoria, enjoying the call. Fantastic to be able to listen to the Australian title live. Good luck to you all. May the uh, best uh, uh, make sure you uh, that a West Australian wins. A bit of parochial from a Victorian. Don't quite understand that. But anyway, here comes Heat 2. This will be a lung buster. They're away. Two national champions on the front row, Anthony Bear and Brad McClure. Anthony Bear got the best of the dispatch. Uh, on uh, the second row, we've got uh, plenty of action as well. Peter Walker goes around the outside of Matt Amato as Brad McClure tries to fight back on the inside of Anthony Bear. They've heavily watered on the very curb line here to keep cars on the track. Back in position five at the moment is 39. Zane Humphreys, then the Nissan Skyline in sixth place. 161. Dave Francis behind them. Colin Peden, Dale Riley Jr. Peter Dowie, the next one through. Dan Druitt and Justin Melhuish. So move out of three and four, going the, the traditional way of racing. The lead two cars have skipped away. Anthony Baird in a 19.267, and uh, that is almost a track record. I think it was 19.1 is the track record here. Back in second place, it's Brad McClure. Peter Walker's got through to third place. Then Matt Amato, Zane Humphreys is fifth. Nissan Skylight is in sixth place. Oh, Colin Peden has gone over. Uh, well, he nearly went in through the puddle, and he's found a, a big uh, hump on, on the infield, and it was like a... Uh, a motocross car there for a moment but he's a okay he's in second pla last place as Anthony Bear continues to lead back to Brad McClure in second place Matt Amato's back in third Peter Walker fourth Zane Humphreys fifth then the Nissan skyline of David Francis in sixth place a bit of a battle further back between Peter Dowie and Dale Riley Jr the yellow lights have come on we've got one in the fence and that is uh, that of Colin Peden and I think something may have broke on that car after he took an excursion on the infield and hit uh, a lump of clay which sent him skywards and uh, it's gone head first into the concrete not all that heavily he's trying to reverse the car out and we've got a stoppage after three laps nine to go in heat number two West the Australian born in Subiaco that's okay Des thanks for clearing that up clearing that up here we go with the restart Anthony Bear Brad McClure, Matt Amato, Peter Walker, Zane Humphreys, David Francis, Dale Riley Jr. Peter Dowie, Dan Druitt and uh, Justin Melhuish, the 10 remaining. And Brad McClure missed the start hopelessly. And Brad McClure is about four car lengths behind Anthony Bear when the green lights came on. Back in third place, it's that of uh, Matt Amato, then Peter Walker. And no change at this stage, though Dale Riley Jr. is starting to make some progress on the outside of Peter Dowie and up behind the Nissan Skyline driven by David Francis. So the race leader is still Bear McClure, then Amato. Walker under pressure now from Humphreys and uh, the Nissan Skyline of David Francis. The only non Ford or Holden in the field is giving plenty of cheek after going up in a ball of smoke last night. He's got the lackey band well and truly wound up. He goes underneath of Humphreys now to try and get fifth place as Matt Amato is putting all the pressure about the place on Brad McClure. It's Anthony Bear by 1.185 seconds. Back in second place at 24 and McClure. Amato made a mistake going out of uh, position two and lost a lot of ground. Fourth place Peter Walker then back to Humphreys in fifth and then David Francis behind Francis is Dowie, then Dale Riley Jr., uh, then uh, Daniel Druitt and uh, Justin Melhuish is 3.4 seconds behind them at the halfway mark. Six down and six to go. Anthony Bear out in front by six car lengths back then to Brad McClure. Matt Amato starting to close the gap again. Uh, long gap back then in fourth place to Peter Walker, Zane Humphreys, David Francis. Peter Dowie is uh, right up behind him and uh, they're back to Dale Riley Jr. And the last car in the main group is Justin uh, is uh, uh, Dan Druitt and then Justin Melhuish out of turn two again going the traditional way four and a half laps left to go Anthony Bear out by 1.2 seconds McClure may be starting to fight back somewhat same margin to Matt Amato a long gap still back to Peter Walker from Kalgoorlie in fourth place four laps to go yes the margin is closing McClure is closing he uh, has got it down to a second now it's back to four car lengths oh trouble here in the main straight two cars in the fence Dale Riley Jr is one of those and the other car involved is the 29 of Daniel Druitt and Daniel Druitt not all that happy with the uh, proceedings has gone to the infield and uh, will probably have to go to the inquiry bay for a little bit of work 
So we'll have a restart and it'll be five laps to go. I don't think uh, Brad McClure will make the same mistake he made uh, on lap three on that uh, initial restart. We've had two in this one. Uh, the race has been going seven and a half minutes so far. But Brad McClure, I don't think, will allow Anthony Baird the uh, luxury of a four or five car length lead as he did last time. Stand by for the start. Five laps to go in heat number two. And McClure was starting to close the gap. And uh, Matamato is right there with them. The green lights are activated and McClure does not allow Anthony Bear to get away and neither does Matamato. Back to Peter Walker in fourth place as they exit turns one and two the first time. It's Anthony Bear out in front but here comes McClure and uh, a couple of car lengths back then to uh, Matamato in third. Walker fourth back in fifth is Zane Humphreys. They come into the main straight. Four laps to go here at Kalgoorlie. Heat two of the Australian title and the margin is 0 0.330. So uh, a one-time national champion followed by a three times national champion of West Australian champion in third place Walker fourth Humphreys fifth then David Francis as Brad McClure is all over the back end of the 46 car from uh, South Australia so Anthony Bear leads with three to go it's Anthony Bear then back to McClure in second a couple of car lengths to Matamato then Walker and then Humphreys as they exit turn number two and back into the back straight not much separating the three of them as they go down there once again and head up into Pitts Bend the race leader is Anthony Bear he comes out at turn four there'll be two to go this time around second place is Brad McClure in third place it's Matamato a long gap back to Walker Humphreys and Francis that's the top half dozen down into turn number one they go it's Anthony Bear by a couple of car lengths from McClure third place is the same margin back to Matamato Walker Humphreys then Francis then back to Dale Riley Jr and uh, then Peter Dowie the white flag comes on display one lap to go Bear by a couple of car lengths back to McClure Amato the same margin Back in fourth place, Walker Humphreys, then 161 of Francis, Dale Riley Jr. and Peter Dowie, and uh, back to Justin Melhuish as they move out of three and four the last time. He's going to get close, Brad McClure, but not quite close enough. There'll be a car length in it at the end. It's Anthony Bear first across the line, two car lengths, back then to McClure. Amato third, fourth will be Walker, fifth will be Humphreys, then 161 Francis, Dale Riley Jr., Peter Dowie, and Justin Melhuish will complete the distance. The margin was 0.545 in the end and the quick lap of the race was a 19.267. We will get the track record for you shortly because uh, I'm pretty sure they are very, very close to it in fact. So it's Bear, McClure and Amato after heat number two.